Good evening, welcome to What The F News, your Sunday recap of the week's news on this insane planet. First up, Joe Biden was in three states today, unconscious, semi-conscious and confused. Meanwhile, the fallout from Joe Biden's intercontinental incontinence tour continues with Camilla Parker Bowles unable to stop talking about her ordeal having to endure the loud long fart, as she succinctly puts it. It seems the trauma left as big a mark on Camilla as it must have on Joe Biden's pants. Despite desperate efforts to downplay the involuntary emission incident at the Carbon Emission Conference in Glasgow by the likes of Trevor Noah and uh, others, memories of his Vatican shot with the poop, as they would say in Scottish, are still too fresh to write off this one as just another unfortunate incident. No, 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 no. Not after this leaked recording of him clenching in vain once again. It told uh, us at a town hall, I think it was in July, that the in, this was just near-term inflation. The Wall Street Journal recently talked to like 67 uh, financial experts who said that they, they saw high inflation going all the way or deep into 2022. Anonymous sources inform us that the long-serving laundry maid, Conchita Cortez Ocasio, who Bill Clinton appointed when she was just 18, has quit and immigrated back to Mexico. News of Biden's windbreaking tour of Europe sparked a trend in China over English bowel terminology. The Chinese Education Ministry put out this video last week. Take a look. I have a bad case of diarrhea. 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 I have a bad クロスしてあバッケース。お腹を刺すって。オブダイアリア。ジェスチャーゲームの要領です。感情込めてやってみましょう。I have a bad case of diarrhea. I have and Dr. Fauci entered its 600th consecutive day, with each of them accusing the other of lying. Which means that one of them must be, by absolute default of logic. They certainly both can't be telling the truth. But it cannot be excluded that they're both lying. Think about that. Protestations. You can deny it all you want, but even the Chinese authors of the paper, in their paper, admit that viruses not found in nature were created, and yes, they gained in infectivity. Your persistent denials, though, are not simply a stain on your reputation, but are a clear and present danger to the country and to the world. As Professor Kevin Esfeld of MIT has written, gain-of-function research looks like a gamble that civilization can't afford to risk. And yet here we are again, with you steadfast in your denials. Why does it matter? Because gain-of-function research with laboratory-created viruses not found in nature 
could cause a pandemic even worse than next time. We're suffering today from one that has a mortality of approximately 1%. There is correct. And, and Senator Paul, you do not know what you are talking about, quite frankly. And I want to say that officially. You do not know what you are talking about. Okay, you get one person that's from the NIHF annual function. This is your definition that you guys wrote. It says that scientific research that increases the transmissibility of, uh, transmissibility among animals is gain of function. They took animal viruses that only occur in animals and they increase their transmissibility to humans. How you can say that is not gain of function? It is not. It's a dance, and you're dancing around this because you're trying to obscure responsibility for four million people dying around the world okay. of a pandemic. And let's listen, Dr. Fowler. I have to. Well, now you're getting into something. If the point that you are making is that the, the, the grant that was funded as a sub award from EcoHealth to Wuhan created SARS-CoV-2. That's what you are getting. Let me finish. You don't know. Now over to South Africa, where the ANC clings to power with a meager 9% mandate after the election earlier this month, where 70% of voters boycotted the poll. This means that Cyril Ramaphosa and his corrupt comrades now represent less than 1 in 10 South Africans. Clearly, that's not a mandate. However, that may not matter if the rumors that the country is now officially bankrupt are true, because that will bring down the ANC. And on to the next news, where there are also rumors of the United Nations forces gathering in Botswana. News of the United Nations troops amassing in Botswana are currently circulating in the activist group circles. It is believed that the purpose of this build-up, which includes heavy artillery, is to step in and fill the power vacuum when the government collapses. We will attempt to verify this and update you on any further information as this story develops. And to end off this bulletin, something for the ladies. The latest fashions from Paris and Milan. Matching masks and outfits. Matching hair and outfits. Matching stockings and masks. Masks being the common denominator in the new faceless fashion that we face in this new abnormal time. This is not going to go away, folks. Looks like this is here to stay. Get used to it. The faceless generation. The faceless lifestyle. Anyway, as this plays out, I'll be bidding you farewell until the next week. YouTube only allows me 10 minutes uh, per video, which is fine because I think anything longer than that is, is pointless. So you should be able to do your uh, reporting in, in 10 minutes. And uh, we will be back next Sunday and uh, with the week's breaking news. Thanks for watching. See you again next Sunday.